What's up? What's up, y'all? I am Tampa Bay Tammy, and you are tuned into In Touch Radio, reality radio where everyone is a star. Hey. Hey, you like that, baby? I, know I like, like it that. a little bit. Yeah, you know, I like it to come down though when I start talking. I, I, but yeah, I, I like we, it. We're gonna have to speed up Esteban. He, we we gonna speed him up so he can he can bring that music down just a little sooner. You know Esteban on his own beat. <laughs> yeah, he got his own beat going mm-hmm. right now. Esteban, yes. B for beat, not Esteban like the uh, the high ranking drug man, right? Uh, that would be Pablo. <laughs> ah. Yeah. You, Escobar. Oh, okay. Yeah, he yeah. said that's Escobar. Not See, Escobar. He, he already knows who he is. Mm-hmm, but I, I like his name. I, I think, I think they so had strong. like a, a, a really close relationship. Oh, Esteban. Huh. And, <laughs> okay. Well, I love your name. I think it's such a classy, strong name. I love your name. I am Tampa Bay Tammy, and sitting to my left is, well, maybe you're right, because if you're streaming on TV. <laughs> Jabbar Edmund. Jabbar Edmund. Where you get all them gold teeth from, boy? <laughs> ben had them. Yep, yep. Long if time. I cash them in, you think I can make a little money? <laughs> you might. You might make a little something. A little something, <laughs> something. It, so don't let them just pull them. <laughs> if they pull them, you do what? <laughs> Keep them. Keep there them. you go. Cash them in. It's all good in the neighborhood. Now, Edmund, is that what they call you? What do they call you? Um, They call me Jabbar. Jabbar. That's yep. a cool name, too. All y'all with these fly names up in here today. Now, Jabbar. Hmm. Oh, your mama named you after the basketball player, didn't yep, she? Yep, there you go. See, yeah, see, yeah, I, yeah. I should know these things. I, I'm <laughs> old enough to remember that. It just had to click in. It had to click in. Javar, you got some things going on. Yes, yes, a lot of things going some on. Some mighty good things yes, going yes. on. Yeah, some surprisingly great things going on. Yep, yep. Tell me what you're doing now. Um, I'm a director. On a the, director? Yeah, on my, my newest film is Agent X, the movie. A film? Yep, you have yep. a movie, my brother? Yes, yes. Starring yeah. Cranston Cumberbatch. Who? Cranston Cumberbatch. Okay. Yep, and um, we've been screening it throughout the Tampa Bay area. Um, We're looking to bring it to Tampa to the Inkwell. The Inkwell. Um, yep, Um, right up the road. Um, I don't know the Inkwell. Oh, it's, yes, I yep. do. It's a venue off of 56th Street, correct? It is. You're going to give me the exact address. The exact address. It's okay. on August 3rd at 7 p.m. Well, I want you to look at getting oh, to that oh, microphone. It's okay, on August, August 3rd, 3rd at, at 7, 7 p.m. PM. Yes, yes, at the Inkwell in Tampa. Okay, are you originally from Tampa? No, I'm here from, I'm originally from St. Petersburg. Okay. Um, but I work over here in Tampa. Okay. Organized Florida. I'm a, I'm a community organizer. Well, when when I say are you from Tampa, I'm at Tampa Bay, I, I'm always including St. Pete. Yes, Colorado, I am. So I, you're from the yeah. Tampa Bay yes, area. Yes, you were ra- Right, yes. because when I first got here, uh, when we partied, it was all one big party. Yep, yep. Tam- yep St. Yep, Pete yep. came to Tampa and yep. Clearwater came to Tampa, but things have grown so, and you all have your own things yep, booming yep. and growing, so we hardly get you to come over here unless yep, it's a yep. very big, big special yep, occasion. Yep, yep, yep. And I get not driving over here for an event because then when you left, if you were drinking, you had to worry about... Getting pulled. It was mm-hmm. it was a special situation then. I remember yes, it that. Was. I remember it, that. And they yes. stayed in trouble leaving yes. the clubs and they got pulled over and yes. checked in the way it go. And you couldn't have to get past it because yep. if you dr- whether you were drunk or not, if you had yep. a drink, you know, you're registered. Yep, so. yep, getting profiled and, and it was, trying to make it back home. <laughs> it was rough, yes, wasn't it? Was, it was, yes. Now, Jabal, are you married? Yes, I am. How long you been married? Um, I've been married four months. Oh, you yes, a newlywed. Yes, I just got married. Hi, oh. honey. Hey, honey. What's, <laughs> what's honey's name? Caprice. Caprice. Hey, Caprice. You got your man in here. Your man is making movies, and you yep. are supporting him. That's what it takes. I'm so proud yes. of you. Four months into your marriage. Yes, yes. And how long have you been doing this movie? Um, I've been making movies since 2012. Is um, she in any of them? No, she isn't. She Did isn't. you meet her through the movies? No, I didn't. No. Okay, okay. We're going to get back to yeah. the wifey thing on later. Well, I'm going <laughs> to stay with the movies. But you know I'm going to get up in your business, yeah. right, yeah, with yeah, the wifey yeah. thing. Because I'm <laughs> it's strictly into marriages, right? Right, yes, right, yes. right. Okay, now your movie is again August third at the Inkwell, and the Inkwell is a very nice venue. Yes, seats yes. about how many? Yes, um, maybe one hundred twenty, two hundred people. Okay, um, and how how much are tickets? Um, ten dollars. Ten dollars. Yep, and um, it's going to be a great event. Um, we're celebrating independent filmmaking. 
independent filmmaker. Have anything to do with Independence Day? Fourth of July, we just celebrated I mean, it's, yesterday. It's an independent lifestyle. Okay. It's an everyday independence when you're an independent filmmaker. Wait, well, let, let me tell you what I noticed, though. You know, we both got on our blue and yes, white. Yes, I noticed that. that that's for our. <laughs> see, I, well, it was for Fourth of July. Yeah, yesterday yeah. was Independence Day, yeah. so I meant to have on my red earrings, but mm-hmm. I was running late, so I got on my little <laughs> white pearls, but. Yeah, I always believe in dressing for the occasion. Yep. So we got on our blue and white, and you probably, look, we probably got on red underwear, y'all. <laughs> now, your movie that's yes. going to play, is this premiere on August 3rd, or has it played somewhere yes, else before? Yes, have, we have been test screening it. Um, these are test screenings we're doing. Um, we're looking for a 2020 actual. current work and we've been working on um several different projects i do documentaries i do community events um i do a lot of different things in the because i heard you say you were organizer Dad, yes, i I'm made up my mind from now on that's my chair <laughs> yeah okay. right 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 it, it is makes your chair me turn that way instead of this way absolutely yeah. i think i'm gonna make you move Come on. yeah okay. let's do it Hi. hey hey this you is know, the radio you. where everybody's <laughs> a star and the star here baby is always you yeah right. look if you look he up said, right there what's that say Tampa Bay Tammy. <laughs> okay, look, he knows what to say. <laughs> Keep it all good. Ah, jeez, jeez. You know why he talking that sweet Tammy, thing, right? Tammy. Because I put it on him the other night. That's what is that what it yeah. is? <laughs> Baby, you're looking right. good, sweetheart. You're looking good. You know, Golly. You have to talk sweet to me. Who did your hair for you, sweetheart? I'm Stephanie. Stephanie, where is Steph? Where's Stephanie? Where's she located? She's located on Bush Boulevard. Bush I Boulevard. love Stephanie. Stephanie's really good. And from she LA. hooked you up. She's been here a while. She's yeah. a beautiful girl. Well, it don't take much for you beautiful. to get hooked up. Yeah, but she has a beautiful skin. Beauty. And you know what? The good thing about this, she presses my hair so well it feels like a perm. Yeah. She does that. Yeah, she, she does, does a great job. Yeah. So Thank shout you, out to Stephanie with your beautiful self. Absolutely. And uh, she's been in Tampa Bay area for quite a while. She does a lot of different things. She not only did my hair, she waxed my wax my eyebrows. And if I got a hair too here, she'll pluck my hair. She's really? just a thorough chick. Mm. Thorough <laughs> okay. And she massages my scalp and her products smell good. It's just a feel good salon. Cool. So if you're looking for something new, you might want to check out Stephanie. Stephanie's hair salon on Bush Boulevard. I'm going to try to get in here one day. Very good. Uh, yeah, that would be good. Yeah. That would be good. Now, um, Stephanie, we invite you to the movies as well. Okay. And the date again? It is August. Oh. Uh, August third, I got August it in 30, my yeah, head. August third at seven p.m. I was at gonna say the, the other day. Well, yeah, on yeah. Sixth Street. Now you said you've been doing movies since yes. two thousand and twelve, and what? How did you get into it? Um, actually, one of my partners, Eric Alexander, bought Eric me. Eric Alexander. Yep, he okay. bought me a script. He bought me a script and a storyline. Um, um, it was a film called Dollars, mm-hmm. and it was about um. It was strippers. It, no, it was, ah, because no, no, no you know what? Now that, I keep Dollars, getting it. It could have been, okay. by, it could have been, but no, it was um. Actually it was so about, much more than that. No, it was it was it was actually a love story, but it was about yeah. a street guys who were making counterfeit money. Oh, okay. So that's okay. why the name was Dollars. Okay. Because they were making counterfeit money, and it was a whole amazing. Story. How did it go? Uh, it went great. It went great. Um, we made it. We made we made a sequel to it, and the sequel was called Drops. Um, okay. And the ah. Uh, Is it still out? Yes, it's, it's, it's independent film. Well, Somewhere when we there. come in to the industry. show on August 3rd, do you think you'll have some DVDs of yes, those Yes, 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 I will. Yes, I will. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. sounds I will, good to I will me. have some of the old DVDs for sale. Maybe we should do a giveaway when we're there. Uh, yep, maybe um, like, a raffle, yep, like mm-hmm. a raffle. Yep, like a raffle or something. Yep, Whoever's celebrating idea. a birthday or yep, something, yep. come celebrate your birthday at the Equal on August 3rd, and we'll present you with a nice gift yep, yep, for your birthday. Yep, that sounds good. That sounds good. Marketing, that's yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Tell me this, uh, Jabba. At the Inkwell, will there be food? 
Um, I think there will be food. I think they have food. They have beverages. Um, okay. so it's a it's a very nice place. It's a nice venue. Yeah, it's very okay. nice. Popcorn. Yeah. Isn't that venue owned by some brothers? Yes, yes. it is. Yes, hey, it is. Who they are do the weddings, brothers? comedy shows. They, they do they do poetry. playwright. They playwrights. Yep, they do everything. They are playwrights they, themselves. Yeah. yeah, they are, and uh, uh, they have a, a very uh, sound uh, uh, technical uh, aspect of the of the event. In other words, they've got good. Uh, a good mixing board, a good a, good speaker acoustic, system. Yes. Acoustic. Good, yes. yeah, exactly. They have it together. I, I'm glad to hear that because we have some friends out of Memphis, Tennessee that are making movies too. And I think theirs is Eminem Films or Eminem Plays or something. They do plays and movies and they're coming down wow, I love in the August. Yeah, yeah. Well, they come down in August. I'm going to make sure you all yeah, meet. And the they're meeting. coming to look to see about doing some of their premieres here. But I was trying to introduce them to the THAP venue. Because yeah. I wanted to do something like uh, movie night at uh, Thaps on Thursdays or something like that, or play night mm. on Thaps on Thursdays. That sounds like So that. I was, uh, when I heard you say the Inkwood, I was like, okay, but it is African American owned. Yes, now, yes, it is. I can tell we're going to have to take a break. I hear the music because Esther Bud is mm-hmm. handling his business. So, hey, call a friend and tell him to listen in. And we're talking about brothers making mu- movies, and we want you to join us. So call in. Go hey. ahead. It's the Tampa Bay Tammy Show, and I am Tampa Bay Tammy, your girlfriend. Yeah, it's me right here on TV at the beautiful 1101 Gallery. And guess what? I am going to be keeping you in touch with the hottest stars. Hi, I'm Donald L. Dowers Jr., your motivational guru. This is the DLD Motivational Moment. One darn second. America since 2017 is suffering from a serious hiccup. 9-11 is seriously overused in a distasteful manner. Every day the cops are calling on an innocent, innocent person of color. It amazes me that America has come down to this. A person of color becomes a person of interest. Waffle House, the dorm, Starbucks is a few. This is not the lunch counters, sit-ins of the 1960s. 2019, harassed simply for being black and proud. Hold on one darn second. This has been the DLD Motivational Moment. Pre-order my new book, Motivational Moments, at DLD282002 at yahoo.com or 813-394-5875. Hey, this is Agent Wright, better known as Mr. Clean. You looking for some great barbecues? Come see them two brothers in the grill. Located at 423 Virginia Street, Charleston, West Virginia. We got ribs, chicken, pulled pork, brisket, collard greens, mac and cheese, baby. Come get some. And get you a nice, smooth cigar. 304-550-4431. That is 304-550-4431. Come get some, baby. The rib man, mama, the rib man. I hear you. Oh, so this yeah, mic yeah, is yeah, not yeah. a good mic. Seven, eight. <laughs> it's all good in the neighborhood. I am Tampa Bay Tampa. You're tuned in to In Touch Radio, Reality Radio, where everyone is a star. And I am excited just to be here today because today is the day. Uh, well, let's get it right. Today is the day the Lord has made. And let us rejoice and, and be, be glad, glad in it. It, it came yeah. out of my mouth just like that. So let me finish it. Uh, it's 88 degrees in Tampa Bay. It's beautiful. I don't know what you all are going through. Uh, we've been having some hot weather, 90s and 102 yes. and all that. Well, we didn't have 102, but I've been seeing it across the, down the and further north. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, further south in Florida. It was 100-degree weather. So I am grateful to be here. I don't know if you all have been paying attention because the 4th of July, everyone was so busy, but there was an earthquake yes. in yeah. California. 6.4 Richter scale. And, and I knew it was coming. And they go, like, how did you know it was coming? Well, a few weeks ago, we were in Puerto Rico, and they told us about the earthquake my they children had. they experienced and felt. I said, mm-hmm. uh-oh, well, it's going to run on up to us. So I don't know how the fault runs, but, you know, it's all underground. So I was expecting something, so I was not surprised. What I was surprised about is they didn't make a big deal of what happened in Puerto Rico, the fact they had experienced it. So be aware that... Uh, it hit California, it's running underground, so it's going to shake somewhere else, too, whoever's mm. on the fault. That's just geography. But with all that being said, we have to be prepared in different ways to uh, survive. So how do you survive? By staying healthy, being able to move, run, duck, 
climb and all that good stuff <laughs> and most of us after we get a certain age we can't move duck climb do none of it but i'm working to maintain that now i'm gonna tell you who can move duck and climb who is that baby dj ceo you talking about me me yeah okay. <laughs> Are you, Look, yeah that what? man got it going on <laughs> and he is not a young brother but he's young and body in action you should have seen him in the pool in puerto rico standing on his head <laughs> watch out okay watch out. so i'm watch like out. i got to keep up with this man because i like him mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. and you got a, a character in your movie that's doing yes 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 <laughs> crancer coming batch is agent x and he is so 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 wait a minute. Let, let's 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 show. Yeah, because I did interrupt. Let's Jabbar. show the scene. Okay, let's Jabbar show. Edmonds with his movie. Yeah, Agent yeah. X. Let's show the scene, uh, and then you talk us through the scene, Jabbar. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go. keep talking. <laughs> what are we working for? What you want, money? I got money. Oh, I do not work for the U.S. government, nor do you. 3D guns. Feels like a toy. And it's a shame how bad things happen to good people. I'm asking one question before I kill you. Y'all have to good. We're more like digital entrepreneurs. We use the technology to make the government die. So who you suspect? He's a big time international real estate banker that deals with cryptocurrencies. Hey, get that out of my face! Say, get that out of my face! Just really on um, different sites, on um, different scenes. I mean, we took different locations. We had a great time, actually. It was Did amazing. you actually do the writing, or the yes, other yes, yes? We wrote, we wrote the script together. Okay. Um, it was a concept. That Who is I, we now? Me, me and Cranston Cumberbatch. Okay. And um, what do y'all call him? Because that name's so long. Cranston. Cranston. Spell it. C R A N S T O N. C R A N S. Yeah, That's yeah. his name in the movie? Yeah, No, his name That's in the movie new- is Agent X. He is Agent X. Okay. Oh, Cranston is the one who plays Agent X. Yes. He looks good. Mm. Tell him, you look good, Cranston. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so this is maybe, is this his first movie or what? Um, no, Cranston is an accomplished actor. Um, He actually acted in the acting Olympics. He, he was a part of the American acting Olympic team. Okay. So, I um, mean, he's a, he's a play actor he acts in movies he's also um an acting coach okay. he teaches acting to kids okay and where okay. is he located why he didn't come in today too um he, I can't. he's, he's caught by he he, 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 got, he, he got caught he up got in caught by, traffic he yeah, got yeah. hit by a smooth a smooth criminal, criminal. Yeah, oh, yeah so yeah, he's yeah. gonna ease on in here he, he just asked, couldn't dun, call dun, dun, dun. in he just asked. yeah he can call in 813-444-9588 yeah. absolutely you know, he can call in 813-444-9588 the number is on the board. Don't let Daryl throw you off. Don't let DG. No, no. Day. Me, I would not yeah, do we that. Speed through things. It is broken. <laughs> yes, yes. I, well, I'm excited. Let me tell you why you're doing that. My, my nephew uh, did a documentary called uh, Memphis Magic. Mm-hmm. And um, he's, it, it, out of, uh, he's out of New York. He did quite well. Memphis Magic. Memphis Magic. Mm-hmm. It was a uh, documentary. So I got three nephews, man, that are filmmakers. One is in New York, one is in Denver. Mm. And one is right here in uh, no, no, New York Denver, and Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, 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 yeah. You uh, almost going to say you were in yeah, Memphis. Yeah, well, you know, what can <laughs> I say? We, if, as far as I'm concerned, through them, there he is. Hey. Is this Cranston? I will see. Hi, this is Tampa Bay Tammy. Who am I speaking with? This is uh, Cranston Cumberbatch, star of Agent X, the movie. Agent hey. X. Now, hey. Now, you know you got to slow it Da-da-da. down. <laughs> Where are you, Cranston, that you're not in the studio with us? Well, I unfortunately um, am just leaving the funeral for my aunt. Oh, okay. For my aunt. Well, you sorry know, we sorry to hear that. You must do what you must do. Yeah. Family first. Mm-hmm. Family yeah, first. That's the only reason why I'm not there right now. Well, we'll see you soon. Now, we're elated to see that we'll see you on the big screen on August 3rd. Is there anything you want to forewarn us about that uh, before we get there? <laughs> you going to keep your clothes on? <laughs> We not. Uh, Are you gonna keep your clothes on? Cause we need to be prepared for all that. Hey man, no, no, no. Look, don't don't tell these ladies you're gonna take your clothes off because they're gonna break the door down. Well, you know, I just wanna know what the man gonna keep his clothes on. Cause in all of well, the movies of today, 
Somebody show some skin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's most of the movies today. You're right. Uh, what I can say is that um, the film will keep you intrigued all the way to the end. Okay. And that um, it, it, it is a secret agent movie, and uh, there are some key elements that are in secret agent films, and we made sure we captured all of them. So whatever you're looking for, it's there. Where are you from, Cranston? I'm from St. Petersburg, born and raised. Hey, born and raised. What high school? Bayfront. Bayfront. Shout out to Bayfront, all you Bayfront listeners. Yes, shout First out of Bayfront all, I want you, okay, I, I like to always say we're not local, we're not national, we're international. Okay, so when you're right, talking to right. our audience, make that. sure you know that they are from all over the world and they're interested in what you got going on. Cranston, you uh, they say this is not your first movie. It is not. This is about maybe my eighth or ninth film. Dang. Um, yeah. Spill yeah, it off. So, Share um, something with but, us. What are the names of some of them? So maybe we can grab them, or will they be for sale on August 3rd where we can grab one or two? Uh, there's uh, King Charles, the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, there's King Charles. There's Titan City. Piper Barnard. City? Did he say Piper? Art, art in the City. Oh, Art in the yeah, City. Art okay. in the City. Okay. Yeah, so um, in King Charles, I play a bad guy. Um, I'm a... Uh, Pimp slash uh, drug kingpin, very witty, um, you know, about his money and uh, about his business. Uh, Art in the City, I play a homeless war veteran uh, that suffers from PTSD, oh. trying to find his way out of homelessness. Okay. Um, of course, Agent X, I play a secret agent uh, on the hunt for some drone attackers, mm -hmm. and I wind up finding myself wrapped into a deep world of bitcoins and cryptocurrency and mm -hmm. espionage and all, all that, that good, good stuff. stuff. <laughs> um, also have, yeah, all that good stuff. Um, there's Loaded Love, um, where I play a, um, a businessman that falls for a jewel thief and ends up getting wrapped into her web of, uh, of jewel thievery <laughs> and uh, deception and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, there is, uh, I have an original uh, film series called More Than Friends Addicted to Love. Uh -oh. um, that I wrote and produced, uh, which is online right now. And um, in that, I, uh, I'm dealing with the, the whole uh, best friend uh, relationship uh, to where uh, the, the girl, uh, that's my best friend, uh, we're getting to that place where we're starting to cross, you know, we're thinking about crossing the line. Uh -oh. And uh, all of the challenges that comes with making that decision to cross the line. In relationships. Uh, so that's an interesting, uh, yeah. So that's an interesting series. And uh, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, Cranston, so many. who uh, named you? See. Yes. Hey. Who named you? Your mom. Um, Are you named after anyone particular? Is it a names put together? Family legacy? What's going on? Well, uh, my family my family's from the islands, so okay. um, I have a Caribbean Caribbean heritage. Um, mm -hmm. My family's from the island of St. Vincent. Okay. Uh, so Cranston is an English name. Uh, mm. uh, St. Vincent is a British influence island, and uh, Cranston means uh, man of noble character. Hey, go my. Mom. Yeah. Well, I I, know, right? I grew up my, with a Cranston. Uh, by the way, uh, yeah. We, long and and look, I'm I'm sixty I'm sixty two, so. Uh, um, I don't okay. know how old you are, young man, but I can tell you we had Cranston back in the day. Okay, where was this? <laughs> oh, wow. This was okay. in Memphis. You had a friend <laughs> yeah, named yeah, Cranston. Yeah, absolutely. At Memphis State, or he right uh, around there off of, uh, on, on Golden Pillar. That's that's oh, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, that's, that, that, Those that are streets in that Memphis. That was called. Uh, that wasn't Bunker Dixie Hill High. in Dixie High. In Dixie High, not far from Hamilton yeah. High School. Cranston was a fighter. He was. He was a he was good back he in the day. Good. I wonder yeah, where so. Cranston is. Well, we tell him we got the I don't new know, we, Cranston. We got the reincarnated now. Cranston Cranston right here. The actor. Uh, yeah, are, the are you from St. Petersburg, right now, yeah. Cranston? Yeah. Where are you from? That's what he said. St. Pete. I missed that. St. Pete. Office. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Um, Cumberbatch. My last name, uh, Cumberbatch, means a strong presence. Hey. Strong presence. Okay. A man of strong yes. presence. Your mom and, uh, is. That's good. <laughs> she put that name so, yeah, together. So a man of noble character with a strong presence. Yeah. Hey, Cranston, did you did you play sports coming up? What what what? Look, I did. Hold that thought, Cranston, because we got to take, take a break. And, and we'll hang on. Back. Now call a friend and tell him to listen in, y'all.
with Taiyu Temple United Methodist Church. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month at the Village Market East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Free parking, free admission, fresh produce, live entertainment, vendor shopping, and delicious cooked food. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month beginning June 22nd. For vendor information, call me 1-888-991-2502. See our ad in In Touch News or Florida Sentinel. Please call me at 1-888-991-2502. The Village Market at East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Hey, this is Miss K with K's Kitchen, where we're cooking Chicago-style fried chicken and fish with the authentic Chicago-style mouth sauce. Come check us out at our new restaurant located at 3320 East Osborne Avenue in the Jackson Heights area. We have a brand new menu, which includes whole wings, catfish, pizza puffs, and much more. Call us at 813-368-5196. Again, that number is 813-368-5196. See you soon. Hey, I'm Tampa Bay Tammy. You are tuned in to In Touch Radio, Reality Radio. And the star of the hour today with me today is not only Jamar Edmonds, but also the other, the co uh, wait a minute, the co-writer, what's his name? Cranston Cumberbatch. Cos- Cranston, and he's on the phone, isn't it? Cranston, are you still there? Yes, I'm, oh, I'm he's, still here. He's still here. Cranston, say your name like you said. You can say it like no one else. <laughs> Cranston Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch. There you go. That's what. Hey, I Cranston, mean. do me a favor and cut your sound down in the background because we're picking it up. Oh, his radio sound? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought it was something. Is that I better? Know. Yes. Thank you. Okay. You know, DJ CEO going to run things. Now, uh, he has given us the rundown on all the movies that he has done recently. But right now, we're preparing for the one that we're all going to yep. attend. And that's on, again. April 3rd. No, it ain't. August 3rd. Ah, August 3rd. What are you trying to <laughs> Wait a minute. I got to get it in your head, baby. See, I make people rep- repeat it over and over. Oh, so it just, and all my <laughs> listeners would know look, August 3rd, I'm going to be at the Inkwell, and tickets are only $10. So it's a good night out. Yes, now, a great date yeah. night as well because drinks will be s- served or yeah. sold. Uh, I'm sure they're going to have popcorn as a movie, right? If we don't, yeah. we will. Okay. We will have it. How about some vendors? Will there be vendors there? Is there any opportunities for vendors to come in? And because I know quite a few vendors yeah. with some good stuff. Yeah. I got a chick that sells gourmet popcorns. I got a chick that sells cupcakes. Yeah, Cranston, yeah. what you think about that? That sounds like a great idea. I don't know, um, Fran, what you think? Yeah, there are there are definitely vendor opportunities. Uh, the Inkwell has plenty of space yeah. uh, for that to, to take place. And, do um, you know the brothers that about, own the Inkwell, Cranston? I do. I know them very well. In fact, they were in uh, one of my other films, If You Only Knew. Okay. Um, that was in the movie theaters. What's well. their names? So we know each other very well. Uh, Marvin and Melvin Coleman. Okay. Are they married? Uh, yes. Good, because, you know, we do the power couples ball every year. So these are some powerful yep, brothers that I know year. nothing about. Yep. So at this point, are you married, Cranston? I choose to leave my status ambiguous because I am a actor. Agent. I got it. They used to tell me that we when we were first star radio. They yeah, yeah, said no one interested in your husband yeah. and your children because they coming to see you as a personality. Yeah. So as a personality and a star, yeah, you can leave that. And then you uh, leave the mysteriousness yeah. of what it is. You leave the mysterious. Mister, yeah, you know, yeah, it yeah. keeps it intriguing and make more. Yeah. Yeah. Make. I like people to stay focused on the work. Right? Oh, baby, we're gonna be focused on you and your body. I already saw <laughs> this, so you can quit playing. Be focused on that. Uh-huh. <laughs> we already checking out now. I'm finding you ain't gonna have no clothes on, too. Girls, did y'all hear that? We're gonna get a sneak peek. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's all good in the neighborhood. August third at the Inkwell, <laughs> and the name of the picture the is show. the movie is Agent X the movie. Agent, and you can X. find it at you can find more information at agentxthemovie.com. Okay, okay, 
stage and next. What about your co-stars? Can we? Yes. The, I saw a chick in a blue dress. Yes. She was strutting her stuff. Yes, Who Mika. was that? That was Mika. Where is Mika from? Me, yeah. Yeah, Mika Law. Uh, Mika she's, Law. She's, she's from here. Tampa. Yep, she's oh, okay, from Tampa. Okay. We got a we got a, a Tampa Bay well-rounded cast. We got okay. people as far as from Orlando, you know, um, Seminole Heights. We got people from you know South St. Pete, Bradenton. all over just the it's whole Tampa over. Bay. It was a it was a completely team effort. I want to give a big shout out to the whole cast and crew, the staff, everybody that helped helped us put this and bring this film to life because the whole cast was amazing. Yeah. I want you to call a friend and tell them they can listen in. You can listen here to us every Saturday. Uh, my show is every Saturday at 12, but the station is streaming all the time, 24-7. So if this is your first time tuning in, don't let it be your last time. We are proud to be able to introduce uh, African-American success stories over the air for the world to hear and see. So right now, we're just inviting you to join us August 3rd at the Inkwell for the movie Agent X, and tickets are only $10. Now, it's a great date night because you come out. Is there um, any particular, we're going to do any theme that night or we just going to bust it on out. And so it's now a, come as you are, you know, come, come as you are and, and, and come represent and, and come check out, have a good time. Yes. So $10 is affordable. No complaints there. Uh, like I say, a great date night. Uh, for those of you, I wanted to talk about Jamar. I'm sorry. Yours is not going to stay a secret and mysterious. I want to know, you said you've been married four months. Yes. How did you meet your sweet thing? Oh man, it was, um, a long time ago. Long um, time ago. Yeah, yeah, long time ago. And so she's been on your team. So you had to go ahead and make an honest woman out of. Yes, yes, had to make it. Had to make it official. Great, great. So I'm looking forward to you. What's the name of your uh, your your um, production company? It's called Dream Makers Production. Dream Makers Production. Well, I'm looking forward to Dream Makers Production having a table at the Power Couples Ball. Yes, yes. Because just from me hearing uh, the gen, uh, how many of you in it, you'll have no problem. Uh, fitting a table five couples is no problem for you uh, with you and four other couples that should be no problem but I'm actually very interested in meeting those gentlemen from the inkwell too so hopefully uh, we can get them on next yes, Saturday yeah. before you uh, sometime in the month of July before your event yeah, some type of let's make that happen and um Cranston Cranston is definitely the link for that um, okay and Cranston you there yes I'm here yes he will make the link. Oh, he's, oh, he threw that ball in your court. You're going to have to make that happen, Cranston. Cranston, what's your favorite scene no in the problem. movie? Come on. What's your favorite scene in the movie? All the ones I'm in. Ah, <laughs> boy, that, that brother got an ego, right? right? Boy, take a <laughs> shot. <laughs> All right, Jamar, what's your favorite scene? So um, I'm, I'm, I'm more, I'm more, I love the drone shots. Okay. Um, you know, yeah, the cinematography is yes, amazing. I, okay. I just love, um, you know, how it all came together, how the team really made it come together. Who did the drone shots? Um, Lewis. Okay, is he yes. part of the team or is yes, somebody he, you pulled he, he in? Actually, he actually played um, Lil' Man in the movie, so he has okay. a um, coach role, role, too. Okay. okay. And he also was our drone pilot. Hey, drone pilot. Y'all right. own y'all own. Yeah, we put the crew to work as well. <laughs> y'all yes. that. Hey, do you own your drone? Yes. Wow. Go, brothers. Go, brothers. Are you available <laughs> for any of that outside of your uh, movies? Yes, situation? yes, yes. Um, I do community events. I also, um, like I told you, I'm an organizer with Organized Florida. So okay. um, I do a lot of community stuff. So. Now, okay. I'll hear more about Organized Florida during the political season. Okay. So yeah. what else do does Organized Florida do. I'm not um, quite sure. Well, they're 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 in the community. Um, it's a community union. Uh -huh. Um, and what they do is they um they have committees. Are they working with the youth or just? Um, it's around issues okay. more the more than just age specific. Okay. Like um, affordable housing is real okay. big right, right now. Right. Gentrification. Yeah. Yes. So the gentrification committee is kind of big. Okay. Um, and and, and it, it really is getting people involved and engaged. Okay. Tammy, uh, uh, Robin Lockett is uh, yes. is one of the executives that uh, yes. organized yes. Flo. Ah, yeah. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, yeah. Now uh, you, got you know it. you know Robin? Yes. Great, great, great. But you are over in St. Pete and she's over in Tampa yes, or yes, is it yes. one unit? Well, well, it is one unit. We come over here to Tampa, but we we are in St. Pete. So okay. we our headquarters is out of the Tampa office. Okay, so I know Organized St. People, I mean, Organized Florida will be in support of you on August 3rd. We're looking to yes, see a lot of people yes, come out, yes. too. So, Jabbar, let me ask you this. Um, did you did you look at any uh, of the other uh, uh, other uh, uh, 
filmmakers yeah. like like the Spike Lees or or the uh, uh, what's my brother Will Steve Packard? Yeah. Did you look at them for uh, any kind of uh, of guidance or or, or or a collaboration in terms of how they do things? I I, I mean I'm definitely a, a student of them. You know, um, Will, Will Packard. Packard is from St. Yes, Pete. yes, Will. I'm definitely um. From afar, you know, okay. they're, they're definitely mentors. I look at them, but not as personal. I don't know them personally, yeah. but through their work and their work ethic. You know, Cranston, do you know have Do you know Will Packard personally? Have you met him? Because you're in St. Pete too, I do. right? Great, great. Yes. Has um, he seen any of your Will. movies? Um, okay, great. He has not as of yet, okay. uh, but we're working on that. Great. Now, it's quite a few stars that have moved to St. Pete. Have you looked into pulling any of them into your... Uh, shows because mm. somebody told me uh, was that Judge what? Mathis is he over there? I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, and somebody there's, said something about lot. Ice Cube once, yeah. and I heard yeah. JT Money. Well, what's the name from St. Pete? Who? Um, what's Angela, Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. Yeah, 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 I interviewed her yeah. years ago. Yeah. Who else? Who do you know, Cranston from St. Pete? Your neck of the woods is a superstar uh, already. There's uh, Justin Hires, mm. who's on the MacGyver series. Okay. Uh, on CBS. Uh, trying to think. Uh, come on, man, you're too young to be stumbling. Now that, that should moment. be. Huh? Don't worry about come it. Don't now. worry about <laughs> it. No, I'm just looking forward to you pulling them in and making them a part of some of your movies. Cause you know, yeah. some of the local where they're they're international talent, but I believe you probably can pull one or two of them. Yeah, I mean, when I think you know the family, I think that's definitely a reality in the future. Because one of the things that our plan is is to, you know, build a Hollywood out of our community, hey. and okay, not, and not have to yeah. leave to succeed, but succeed from home and long from great. home. That was great. That was great. And you know, to leave to succeed. The Go thing, ahead. one thing about uh, a St. Petersburg is, is that even though it has the Florida flair, you got some, some palm trees, but there, there's pockets of neighborhoods. Where you you would think you might be in Atlanta. You don't know where you. You don't. Yeah, exactly. you're right. right. You're right. right. Mm -hmm. And a lot of film crews come, really Pinellas County for that because when you're talking about locations, you wouldn't know where you were at. And I got to share with you all something. I got an email, and I'm gonna have to send it to you. Where they have money for you all if you're interested in doing an arts festival or a movie festival. Wow. Yeah, it came across my uh, desk the other day, so I am going to forward it to you. Now, Cranston thinking he doesn't need any of those stars because he the star. <laughs> he the star. He already done yeah, seven he, he, movies. Yeah, he can do he can uh -huh. do all 12 rows by himself. <laughs> <laughs> he he want to do some of that Eddie Murphy stuff. Yeah, but, Cranston, well, I like I, yeah. but Cranston, I, I want you to go get fair, Angela. I want you to go get Angela Bassett because I believe you can get this sister. When she mm. see you take them hey. clothes off, she gonna come over and do your movie. Here, no. baby. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know I'm full of hey, clothes. I have to I'm take myself. Ask her. Yeah, what they say, you have to ask. Yeah. What's, her, what's her husband's yeah. name? Courtney what? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Courtney Vance. Courtney yeah. Vance. Are they That's still it. together? Yeah, they're still together. Well, we should have invited them to the Power Couples Ball. Look, look, <laughs> let, let, let Cranston get out of line with Angela Bassett. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney gonna jack him up. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna have to really be Agent X, hey. my brother. Uh, yes, yes, yes. yes. It's all good. All yes, it's all good. Well, we want to thank you for calling in, Cranston. I hate you couldn't make it here and we couldn't see you in person. But the movie is so it looks so good. We're excited just about yeah. what is to come on August third. Now, is this the, you, is this the first premiere or no? Um, we actually have been screening it um since January. Okay, and we're looking for we're looking to make the official red carpet premiere this. January 2020. Okay. Where, do you know where? Hopefully it'll be it's, out here. It, it's, in, it's in our plans. We still it's still in talk, so we haven't locked down the venue oh, yet. Okay, so now there there's this venue uh, uh, through through my my boy. Uh, oh, talking about the one on Dale Mabry, the movie yeah. theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, Villaggio. Villaggio. But but, but uh, are you, you familiar right? with yes, Villaggio? Yes, yeah, yes. it's okay, a movie so, theater. Okay, so so yeah, but we I, I introduce you to him too. I, I, I like um, Rudy. Yeah, no, yeah, I, li I like Rudy, but what I'm saying is, is that 5508 is 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 a, a large venue too. It's a large venue. And, we just and had Black just, Wall Street, and it yeah. had all these people out here. It's it something nice. we need to consider, yeah. without a doubt. And, and but just depending on when and where it is going to be, I think Bellagio is because it's on the big screen. It is a movie theater. It'll uh, be great. It'll be great. But I would like you all to consider doing uh, Thursdays. 
yeah. Thursdays at Thap here. Let's do movies. Yeah, since you got seven or eight, we could do one a once one a month or yeah. one every two yeah, weeks. Yeah, we can or really we can really we can really we can, jump yeah, it up. Yeah. We can really talk about doing something because I love that idea. Cranston, so I want you to think about your yeah. best movie, the one you have the DVDs for that we can show and then we can actually sell. So let's make this happen. Uh, we like to think this okay. is Black Wall Street. We got to take yes, a break I right now, <laughs> so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Call a friend and tell them to listen in. I am Tampa Bay Tammy. Hey, it's the Tampa Bay Tammy Show. And I am Tampa Bay Tammy, your girlfriend. Yeah, it's me right here on My TV. name is Gil Sampson. I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot to shape my life. I uh, got a job as a structural engineer, and I design residential buildings, commercial buildings all over the United States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college you know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity. And to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing. And it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than one million jobs in only five years. And a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery, just imagine. Been in a car crash? Call Ricky. Don't know what to do? Ask Ricky. We will connect you with a lawyer and doctor experience in auto accident injuries. Call Ricky at 844-361-7425. After an auto accident, you have 14 days to seek medical attention. You may be in pain. So call Ricky, ask Ricky for your best options. 844-361-7425. Call Ricky, ask Ricky is a legal and medical referral service. The lawyers in our network pay to receive referrals. Hey, this is Tampa Bay Tammy. You're tuned into In Touch Radio, reality radio where everyone is a star. And we're here today with Jamar Evans. Jabbar, Jamar yeah. or Jabbar, Jabbar, Ed- Jabbar Edmonds, and we had Cranston on the phone, the star, the co-writer, the all that, the actor, it. the stud muffin. You still mm-hmm. there, Cranston? Cranston gone. I released. No, oh, Cranston, you <laughs> laying <laughs> in the cut released. like a big dog. I thought I had released she, you. She released babe. like he, you know, on the football team. <laughs> <laughs> he got, he got released. <laughs> it's all good. He a it's free all agent good. now, not just Wait Agent a X. He a free agent. See, this is our last fifteen minutes, so you know we have to think about how many minutes we got. Thirteen. Okay. I like to uh, uh, finish covering this up, and then, then I want to tell you what else is going on in the Bay Area. But uh, Jabbar. Edmonds movie for those of you just tuned in is actually August 3rd here in Tampa Bay. It will be doing a screening here. This is not the red carpet screening or the red carpet premiere, but it will be a screening at a very nice venue right here on 56th Street in the Tampa Bay Area, Bay Area the called Ink the Ink Well. well and tickets are only $10. And the beautiful thing about the Ink Well, that venue is African American owned and operated as well. So it's a proud mm-hmm. moment. Now we are out here at THAP at 5508. THAP, Tampa Hillsborough Action Plan. This is where we're located. <laughs> And our uh, CEO out here likes to call it his own little Wakanda. Yes. So if you have a great event or something you want to bring, we want I you bet. to bring it to 5508. Yeah. We have several areas. Yeah. to. We can do it out under the stars. We've done evening under the stars here. We do a Valentine's Affair here every year. So we would love for you to do. Uh, you maybe can do an outdoor movie screening as well. But we also have a large venue that you can do something inside. So there are options. Options right here in the parking is great and it's centrally located in the Tampa Bay area right here off of Hillsborough Avenue right down from the casino the eighth largest or is it the sixth largest it's casino? the sixth largest in the world yeah what? straight out yeah, yeah our casino is the sixth that one right there. largest in the world in and the we world even have 
a Google. Vegas, right down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah and that, that was before they were. The they new f- add on. Absolutely. Yeah, so, they've been adding on for years. For years. Yeah, they getting that money, baby. Yeah, somebody getting that money. They are. They getting, are. We know who we are. Getting money. No I, but yeah. you know what? I'm Make glad you to get. you want to be an Indian. <laughs> well, you are Indian. I think I got a little bit in me. You, we know you got a little yeah, bit okay. in me. But, you know, your mama ruled out the reservation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that don't mean I'm owed some money. Nah, well, okay. no. They you say you can take out. a test. And you might can get something. A little something. Okay. But you know, you know that black blood is strong. When you mess with black, you black, baby. Yeah, oh, you man. Just, it, just, it just takes over. It takes <laughs> over. It's just because it's the original blood, baby. It's the motherland. Okay. The original. I'll, I'll take that. Mm-hmm. Wrong with Are that you blood. all familiar with a lady by the name of Rachel Spade in Bradenton? Well, Rachel is giving an event. Hers is July 27th. And she has a Master P coming Master to the Master P city. coming to town. Uh-huh. So y'all, mm. need, y'all need to go see Master P. Yeah, that's big. That might be y'all new backer. Yeah. Might be able to, yeah. mm-hmm. Because you'll be surprised what people yeah. will do when they want to get their child in a film. Hello. Hey. Right. Mm-hmm. Master P got one or two kids in film, doesn't I he? I know. He wouldn't hurt to get another one in, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. All good but he understands there. the game. So. Yes, he yeah. does. So her event is called Look Who's in Business. It's a network shopping event, and it is on Saturday, July 27th. Now, the time is from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and it's just going to be a great time, and it's quite affordable. You'll get an opportunity to be up close and personal with Master P, and the tickets are only $10. I cannot believe the tickets are only ten dollars yeah it's a two-day event okay. uh the 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 most important one i think it i'm not sure it's you have Saturday, to pick July up the copy of in touch news and you'll know but uh, the ten dollars is the general admission general so i'm admission. sure vip is going to be quite expensive oh it and is those of you who want to do it like that can. big ball of shot callers we're we, 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 we talking to look, you the double x Cranston me and those Jabai yeah. yeah, men yeah those guys yeah, yeah. they'll be doing it like that uh guess what y'all what this weekend, 4th of July weekend, is also a celebration for what our local girls that got it going on. Who is that? Queen V. Queen V. Queen, oh, Queen V. Y'all know Queen, Queen V. v. Queen, Queen V, find the big dog. Yeah. What, 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 she, she can wear stomach out. She, look, she looks like a mermaid. <laughs> so what birthday is this? I don't like telling the ladies' age. Oh, okay. But it's a, a milestone. It's a milestone? Uh-huh. She had something called Bollywood, I think, at Jackson's. I don't yeah, know if yeah. that was last night or tonight. When was it? I think it was last night, but don't quote me. Don't quote you. Well, okay. tonight she's going to be at the Cotton Club. So we're going to go check her out at the Cotton Club. Good Cotton old Cotton Club. Club. It's an old school club in the Tampa Bay area, and so we're going to go check out the Cotton Club. I was like, what queen be breaking down at the Cotton Club? She's going to hey. say she's going to bring, she want all her people. She don't want anyone left out. She's an international kind of chick, and she is strictly beautiful. So we're joining her tonight at the Cotton Club. So come on out and have a good time with us. It's a good time guaranteed. Hey. Uh, happy birthday, Queen B. We will be mm-hmm. there. Now, what else is going on? Well, you know, we had a, we had a, um, actually, we had a really good Fourth of July, and oh, yeah, I, yeah okay. I, I just want to thank my family and friends for uh, it's just coming just out, hanging out. You know, because we a good always time. found ourselves. We got a call. Out. We do. Yeah, yeah. You Uh-oh. have to conference them in. Uh oh. No, That's- no. I'm scared. No, no, no. Go back, go back to See, one. Darryl go back is, to one. Darryl and hit answer. Look at and him. hit conference. My husband. DJ CEO. Okay, now uh, we're working on it. Yeah, he is training our new. You doing good, Esteban? We're training mm-hmm. a new gentleman, Esteban, on handling this board, so Daryl and I can run off more often. This is Tammy. Who am I speaking with? This is Joe. Good morning, Tammy. New Year's here. I just want to hey, you know, Joe. Um, <laughs> how's it going? Yeah. Uh, wasn't that in the previous film that they they uh, put out for Asian X? Yeah, um, it's called Art in the City. You saw Art in the City? You th- Art in the City? It wasn't a play, yeah. it was a movie. It was a movie, but um, Cranston just was in the play. Um, what play were you in, Cranston? Uh, I was just in a pipeline with American Stage. You know pipeline. that, Joe? Was that what you were looking for, Joe? We lost Joe. Joe, you with us? No, we lost Joe. Oh wow, we love no, Joe. Joe. Joe may have. Joe is the kind that'll come on 
ask his question and get off to hear the yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. He a yeah. professional. Okay. Yeah, he, he, he know what he's doing. Yeah, that's how you do it. Joe is our faithful listener all over the world, rolling high and low in his big truck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's so a yeah, truck driver. It was Pipeline was the last play that Cranston was in, and our last movie was called Art in the City. Okay, okay, okay. And and that was that was shot in St. Peter's Well. Yes, yes, and it was based on um, a homeless war veteran who. Um, who battled his PST his PSD mm-hmm. by using his art and then selling his art to come out of homelessness. Okay. Wow. Now what I'm hoping, Kristen, is maybe you all get in touch with Rachel Spade and maybe y'all can journal, join her on July twenty seventh and have yes, a booth. So y'all maybe should yeah. call her and see if y'all can have a booth with some yeah. video sales and promote the movie as well. I'm gonna make sure I give you her number before we leave. But my main uh event, like I said, is the Power Couples Ball. So for those of you all over the world, we want you to join us in Tampa Bay, September twenty first. And we will be at the Grand Hyatt. This is the tenth year and it's is always beautiful. It's champagne on every table, tuxedos in evening gowns. It's love. It's all about love, staying married and keeping our community strong. It's holding hands and whispering sweet nothings in each other's ears. Now, we do have a special rate at the Grand Hyatt if you call for the Power uh, Couples Room Block, and you wouldn't believe it, but it's only $129 a night. Mm. So, hey, if you're out of town and you're thinking about flying in, come on in. Southwest Airlines, Allegiance Airlines, always have great prices you can get here and enjoy some of this beautiful weather but most most of all you can enjoy being together at the power couples ball and next thing the next day is the um 5k yeah the braxton daryl johnson 5k run we do that in honor of the scholarship too because we do give away the braxton daryl johnson last mile scholarship at the power couples ball so are we out of time we're out of time okay we gotta wrap it up i'm so glad you called in cranston tell them bye and tell them to come see you cranston's gone Tell him about Jemaya. Yeah. Yes. Oh, there he is. Oh, he putting us on pleasure. mute. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Thank you for You're being You're welcome. All right. And I, I'm announcing again, Agent X. Yes. August 3rd. Okay. August 3rd. August 3rd. 7, 7 p.m. at the Inkwell in okay. Tampa. Okay. We'll see. And it's only 10 bucks. Yep. Have a great day, y'all. Yeah, too. Peace. Girlfriend, I shall turn up the TV. Tampa Bay Tammy and the rest of the family packing every chair. Stars from everywhere. It don't get no better than this. She's insane. Tampa Bay Tammy talk show off the chain. Incredibly, she will not be the talk of the town, so check it. And if you don't know, T, the new host will know she come to wreck it. It's a hey, it's the Tampa Bay Tammy show. And I am Tampa Bay Tammy, your girlfriend. Yeah, it's me right here on TV.